Hello everyone, I am Torio and welcome to my newest Hans of Iron 4 video. Today we're playing as Poland, again. Yes, I know, I'm playing it a lot, but it is my favorite country and my country. It also got a lot of new paths in the No Step Back DLC and I haven't explored all of them yet, so I want to do that. And after that, in the next video, we'll probably play Latvia or the Soviet Union. Let me know what you would prefer in the comments. And um, what are we doing today? Well, another monarchist path. We've only tried two of them and there's five. Today we're doing the Commonwealth Claimant, which is noticeably weaker in my opinion than, for example, King Michael of Romania, which is my favorite path. But let's try it anyway. Regal difficulty, I'm in mode, historical focus is Poland, let's go. Now, let's have a look at the focus tree. This is the monarchist part. So we can go Habsburg, Hohenzollern, my favorite path. Commonwealth Claimant, which is not that good, but it's good enough, I guess. And the Cossack King, which is very aggressive. We'll have to try that one as well. They get very good boosts to cavalry. Could do cavalry only for it. Hmm. Another time, though. And there's a hidden path with Anastasia Romanov and even Wojtek the Bear, the King, here. Oh, also let me know if you would like to see the Romanian path again, uh, because I did that, but it was in the multiplayer video with Kawach, so maybe some of you would like to see it in single player. Nevertheless, today we're doing the Commonwealth Claimant. So let's start with assembling the Regency Council. We'll have to fight the Germans relatively early, if we want to keep Memo, or normally, if we don't really care about it. We start with 40 units, which is plenty. We'll of course want to get more. Produce lots of guns. Do you want to keep producing support equipment and the fighters? Well, if we don't produce the fighters, the Germans will bomb us. But they'll bomb us anyway, because they'll have more fighters. So I'm not sure we should be doing that. Maybe I'll just focus on the guns. Also, do some trains. We'll need those. I don't think I'll need support equipment, at least for now. As for the fighters, I guess I can keep one factory on them. Factories. Let's start with a couple of civilian factories. Research some research boosts and some industry. That's about it. Speed the game up and unpause. I think I want at least two full army groups of smaller units, so I can start designating those army groups right now. Uh, this way we can adjust the generals and all that. Also, let's train more units. The cavalry brigade here is the smallest one we have, so let's use that. Lots of units, please. I want them all in the field as soon as possible. All right, that's two army groups. Regency Council is assembled. Fulfill the 5th of November Act. We'll start getting candidates for the throne with events. Right, now we'll start getting claimants. In the meantime, we will want to do the agrarian reform. So let's start with the four-year plan. Agrarian reform is necessary to deal with the peasant strike painlessly. Our political power gain is uh, not that great. I mean, it is getting better. It was much lower at the start. We will improve it further soon. What else? Deploy units as soon as you can. Now, field marshals. We have two. Sikorsky is a good defensive one. We could use him against the Germans. I will definitely want to use Edward Ritzschmigui and Roman Abraham. Uh, we can promote him. But we have the points because he's a level 4 already and is not an advisor yet. That's going to be important. More research boosts, please. And Friedrich Christian claims the throne. That is the Commonwealth claimant. Not the best, but he's good enough. Also, he has a compliance gain bonus and that is always welcome. He is our king. Looks like my friend's brother. Okay, let's not get fixated on that. Uh, where was I? Yeah, we're going for Lithuania. We have some time for the peasant strike. 260 days is plenty. Let's restore the royal same for the extra stability. And our political power gain is now decent. More troops in the field, please. We might need to use them to destroy Lithuania. Also, claiming Lithuania early will let us get out of embargoed economy merely. More industry buffs, please. And we have 150 political power, so we can hire an advisor. It's of course going to be the noble bureaucrat, political power and stability boost. And we're now getting 1.56 per day, and we'll be getting even more when we increase the stability. Royal Sejm has been restored. We can now support monarchism in Lithuania. That will unlock some decisions that will let us turn them to our side peacefully. Now, we could just annex them by attacking them, but where's the fun in that? Also, if we wait long enough to annex them, they can get extra stuff from those focuses here. What is also important is this. The next war goes on Estonia and Latvia. As unaligned, we can't really justify easily, and this will help a lot. Claim the Vonia. Later. We have enough command power to promote uh, the guy. Roman Abraham, please. We're gonna make him offensive and charismatic and don't have the points anymore. Research trucks, we'll need them. Sadly, we can't make trucks yet. We have 100 political power, let's use that to improve worker conditions. Extra stability boosts your country overall. Peasant strike, don't worry about that. We should have just enough time to deal with it. Support monarchism is ready. We can now start taking the decisions to support monarchism. Oh, don't have the political power, we'll do that in a moment. And divert our attention towards the peasant strike. Fill the railway gaps. With monarchist sentiment, you have to do this decision three times, so that's 150 political power total. But after that, if you're not in a rush, you can just keep investing in Lithuania, which is the cheap option. Although, in retrospect, I shouldn't have done uh, improved worker conditions, but uh, rather kept that political power to do this a bit faster. It's all good, though. Monarchist sentiment again. Second field marshal. 
So this Wasikowski is better defensively. No, uh, I guess we'll use Ritzschmigwe. Also make him defensive, uh, offensive. Right, mark his sentiment again. We have 50 days until the strike, but that's not a problem because starting the agrarian reform delays it by 70 days. And after this is done, we can start doing the cheaper options to invest in Lithuania. Possibly sway Lithuanian generals if we want to hurry up. But the rest, uh, well, this requires an extra focus, which is a waste of time, and this requires a lot of political power, which is a waste of political power. Invest in Lithuania and keep repeating that. We need 80 to start the focus that will subjugate them. But it's better to raise monarchist uh, support to 100, or at least 90, before starting it. Is this ahead of time? Mm, very slightly. Anti Commandant Pact. Mm, no, not really. I'll have to fight them both anyway. Invest in Lithuania again. Now, we need 80 to start the focus. We can go up to 100. However, if we're at 80, and we start doing the focus, and then they do a decision to reduce monarchy support, our focus will be cancelled, and our progress will be lost. So at least a 90 when we start it. Should do the trick. Agrarian reform complete. Actually, I'm not in such a rush here. Maybe we'll benefit more if I do the extra research slot now, before continuing on. This way we can limit ourselves to only investing in Lithuania, won't have to choose the more expensive options, and we will of course benefit from the research slot itself. Invest more, and let's get the autocratic archbishop. That will bring our stability to 100, and also we'll get some extra political support for our party. Stability is nice because it boosts everything. See, even our political power increases greater because of it. Let's also start producing trucks when we have the factories for it. Or now, just a little bit of the construction, slow. We should probably also start a spy agency. It's gonna help us against the Germans and the Soviets. Invest in Lithuania some more. Good, we'll have enough support in time, because after this we still need to do the Royal Guards. Machine tools. Oh, I can see their focuses already. Good. Ideally, we would like them to finish these before we annex them, because that's more factories for us. Okay. Monarchist militants, this is pointless. Let's not do it. But to do Kingdom of Lithuania, we need to establish the Royal Guards first. That's two extra units. Not a lot. But it is a necessary prerequisite, so we have to do it anyway. Let's not forget to invest in Lithuania. Supply agency is ready. Now we have to be careful here. We can't pick the expensive options on developing the spy agency. We want to develop it, but not with the expensive options, because that will block our political expansion. So I guess we'll start with the army department and civilian department. Also, we are at four research slots. So let's start slowly boosting our units. Should we get an elusive gentleman? Probably. It is expensive, though. Invest in Lithuania. Don't forget to invest in Lithuania. And yeah, I kind of forgot. <laughs> So we might need to start the focus at only 80 support, which is risky. Operative available, Hindenburg incident. Let's send her to Germany immediately. Oh, we have the political power, so let's do limited conscription. More troops in the field, please. Invest more. We're at 80, but we'd like to be at 100. Royal guards are done. Uh, they're very well experienced. Let's put them in a separate army so I don't accidentally switch them to something else. Kingdom of Lithuania, we could start that now. It's just 35 days. Should I delay this? No, I guess we'll have 90 support when it finishes. They should accept. There's a small chance they'll fight monarchy support and we'll drop to 70 and the focus will cancel. But it's just a 35 day focus, so it's not a big deal. Right, we're at 90, not a problem anymore. Uh, that's what, 12 out of 35. This takes 30 days, so no use. 90 will have to suffice. Essentially, if we were at 100, there's a bigger chance of them submitting peacefully. But even if they start a civil war, our side will win it. And so, they more troops to be more intimidating. Will they submit? They do. We enter a union. They are now our lesser partner in a personal union. Sadly, I cannot choose which focuses they'll follow, but I can see them. We wait long enough, we'll get extra factories from this and this. But six factories total, which is a lot at this point in the game. But waiting also... Oh yeah, let's bypass that. Waiting also blocks us from doing some other stuff quickly. Most importantly, claim Livonia. So the question is, do we want to get some stuff now, or more stuff later? And I'm leaning towards more stuff later. So let's leave that alone for now. Maybe we'll build up our industry, or maybe we'll prepare for the next war. We could actually get guns 3 with this relatively early. It's 210 days to do that, so it's quite a lot. Maybe a bit later. Let's do the central region strategy for now. We also want to build some forts on the German border, I think. Although it's not necessary, we can just build guns instead and use our troops as our wall. Also, it is time for some military factories. Let's research improved infantry equipment 1 and radio. We could do partial mobilization, but it feels like a waste since we can do total mobilization immediately when the Germans attack. It's probably going to be better for us. Perhaps the elusive gentleman really is the way to go. Yeah, let's do that. Now we can do localized training centers. Let's get some more industry and spend our extra points on a new commander. 
cryptology department, the new spy will be a German one. Wait a minute, we're in a personal union over here. How do you have a prime minister? Maybe we should just annex them and not wait for the focuses. Although it is six factories, six core factories. How about you? Do I know what you've done? You've done some stuff. Decrypt the Germans. Oh, did I, how did I miss the focus being complete? That's not a good idea to do so. Anyway, I think it's now time to prepare for the next war. Maybe I can get those guns three early, really. Let's hire the infantry expert. More troops. Yeah, I guess this is enough armies and stuff like that for now. Let's cancel any further recruitment, because you don't want to have too many troops when the Germans attack, because if we have too many, we won't be able to go to service by requirement, which I want to do. Military academy, please. Also, we do have some planes, let's deploy them. Mm, defense expert. I do need the army experience. It's the end of 37, we still have a lot of time, and I think I'll give up memo, because this way we'll be defended by the allies when Danzig is attacked. So doing the focuses I don't want you to do. Yeah, well, I can wait a bit longer. Hmm. I think I'll replace him for now. For this of Sikorsky, I will lead this army. Well, this one will be led by Roman Abraham. Why? Well, because I intend to use this army later to just defend our border with the Germans. And he is a defensive guy. Defensive doctrine, good defense value. Only level three though, but that's fine. Right, new military academy is done, and that's 35 days for standardization of equipment, which is perfect. See, the plan is to get two infantry equipment bonuses from these, while already being underway with the research of guns too. Then these bonuses will go towards this and this, thus letting us get in guns three very early. So, standardization of equipment, please. Oh, and we get some industry bonuses. Um, sure. Let's get concentrated at three. Start guns too, ahead of time of course, add some excavation to the mix, and we're all set. Just need to remember to not waste the bonuses. I also have a decent amount of army experience, which we should use to get templates. Let's create some new templates. It's just gonna be one bit of infantry. The kitten, call it tiny, because it's gonna be used for deployment and nothing else. Now, duplicate that. Infantry 10 width. Should be very good for defense. I'll give them the bear icon. And create another one, just one cavalry. That's for garrisons. Should I give them an unusual icon? Maybe the claw, because it's the claw we'll be holding the captured territories with. Alright, we're set on troops. Now, switch all of these into the 10 with infantry. Same for these guys. And exercise them. I don't think I'll have enough manpower for all of them. Ah, we'll see soon. Anschluss. Some stuff is going to be happening soon. We will be ready for you, Adolf. We still need some time to prepare. So, let's find out what you're doing. Ah, another useless focus. Damn it. Maybe delaying my attack was a mistake. Let's see. We restore the Commonwealth, then we claim Livonia and seize East Prussia for later. Probably also need to do the railways for these ones, but it's not that important. Hmm. No, I think we're good actually. Might even do some war plans. Army modernization. We'll need that for later. Although, maybe I should leave that. Maybe we should do Plan West. I don't think this gives me bonuses against Germany, only some buffs to forts and forts construction and a few units for free. So maybe it's not worth it after all. Let's do army modernization. I hope they do the folks I want after this. I've delayed this long enough. Perhaps it was a mistake. Let's check the others. Oh, they're already doing the one I want. But you? You already done both. All right, after the current focus, I'll have to start annexing Lithuania because this is kind of ridiculous, taking too long. Let's see what they do after this. Presidential reform, god damn it. Such a waste of time, should have annexed them long ago. Then again, maybe I can wait a little bit longer. Let's save up some political power for now. Can we afford to delay longer? Probably a bit longer. Okay, I guess I can invest in the old Polish region. Still have time. If I give the memo, they'll only attack in 39, mid 39. So we'll be okay. Memo, I mean, I can give it up temporarily. Let's see what they do after this. Soviet mutual assistance, seriously? Yeah, that's beyond stupid. Let's just get this over with. That's the next Lithuania now. Should have done that much, much earlier. And on that terrible disappointment, you know the rest. The rest not in memo. Yeah, they're never gonna do the focus I want them to. Where are they? Yeah, well, at least we're not delaying any longer. Let's get ready to take over the Baltic countries. You will need some generals. The level three ones that are not yet advisors. Or in general, the ones that are not yet advisors. And Tritschmigwe. We'll use him later. Oh, and this guy. Because we're using him. That should do it. Oh, and the elite armies go to Rotmistr Pilecki. Although just this one army should probably go on the offensive. We won't have enough uh, supply for everyone. I guess I'll get a military theorist, Mr. Wupashko. Alright, we could get a doctrine at a discount. Um, do we want to do mass assault? I'm gonna do mass assault. Superior firepower is tempting, but I think we'll do better with this. No, actually, what I'm gonna do is professional officer corps. That's gonna do even better for us. And we can stay with Grand Battle for now for the initial wave of German attacks. Some more boosts to our industry. Slightly ahead of time. Lithuania has been annexed in a very disappointing fashion. You guys all switch to the 10 with infantry and be added to the army. Let's claim Livonia. 
70 days, we get war goals, we'll annex them and get cores. I think only get cores here, doesn't really matter, that's a lot of factories anyway. Don't do this, don't waste the bonus, the bonuses go here and here. Improved committee machine. Stockpiled a lot of cars, good. I guess I'll get an infantry equipment designer. No, actually I should have kept the political power, it's fine. It's fine. Annexation of Zaolgia with the Munich Agreement. I could build forts, but I think just sending a lot of troops to the border will be enough. Are we doing on construction? Oh, they have 80 infrastructure in the area. That is my core territory. I should probably build here and here. Some more civilian ones and then some more military ones after that. God damn it. I got that ill gentleman and forgot to keep improving the agency. That is a bit silly. But I have enough to know what focuses he's done. Yeah, I made a mistake with uh, with the uh, spies, more commanders. It's fine, but I should have been paying more attention to that. Hmm, some of them are having supply troubles. Claim Livonia is done, let's immediately declare war on both of them. Do your thing. Won't take too long. After you're done, go here as well. Next focus. That's three dockers, do we care? Hmm. Oh, also, I forgot. I can get out of embargoed economy now, since I annexed Lithuania. Let's go to free trade. Can I get better conscription? No. Can I get war economy? No. Because they're too weak. But I'll get those once we're fighting Germany, which will happen soon. Pro-allied government. Do we want to do that? Hmm. We could join the Allies with this path without giving up Memel, but I think it's better to just give up Memel and wait for the Germans to attack us with an Allied guarantee. We also need to seize East Prussia. This can wait a bit. Do we need the railways and the shipyards? Could get some great factories from this, but that can wait as well. Let's get the fifth reset start. It's going well. Maybe we should go aggressive just to make this faster. Hmm. There's not enough of you here. Latvia capitulates. Of course, I'm going to annex everything. Oh, do I need to pass? Take all states. Move on. We do have some shipyards now. Went to free trade, which means I have to buy steel. France, here we go. Mm, I'm going to choose meticulous preparation. And you'll become an offense specialist. You can then advance to a genius even if he's level 8. Although, level 8 is very rare to see. Estonia, take all states, please. And let's check on the occupying forces. Use the cavalry template. We have a nice compliance gain from our ruler. So it's gonna be... Fine, we need to start preparing to fight the Germans soon. This army group should be enough to take over Prussia. Equipment, two, with a bonus. And start producing the better guns. Then again, I might need some more troops. I can always disband some forces if uh, I'm too strong to go to uh, service by requirement. Just put all our manpower in the field for now, and then we can disband as we go along, if we so choose. Are you all trained up? No, not all of you. Go to the German border. Then you'll extend that. You go to the other German border. Let's do nationalist education. This is going to give us 5% attack and defense against the Germans in core territory. It's going to be quite helpful. Let's repair collaboration government in Germany. I neglected the agency a bit. I'll try to fix that now. Should probably also infiltrate the army. Can we get another German? Yes, we can. Now, the railway system. Do we want to build up? Oh, uh, sorry. Wrong screen. Do we want to build up some more supply hubs or is it fine? This is looking fine. I guess I could build one or two more. Sure, let's do that. We can do three additional supply hubs with this. Oh, but I don't have the factories for it, so I made a mistake by clicking it, because the factories are going elsewhere, God damn it. Okay, we got the supply hub here, and we'll need some to fight the Soviets later on. What are we find on the German border? I guess I could use another one around this area. Prioritize them. Special projects, this, this was a mistake. Shouldn't be doing it at the same time. Can I stop this? Oh, it's just 36 more days, so it's fine. Let's get better fighters. Deploy troops. German operative. Should I actually do rail guns? They can be helpful. Maybe we should. How's the supply hub construction? So, it will get better. Let's seize East Prussia. The fact that these territories will become core will give me 5% strength while fighting them there. And also, I won't have to worry about garrisons or anything like that. And we will be defending, at least at first. So I'm actually going to do static warfare. Resistance to occupation. Well, our compliance is growing very quickly thanks to our leader. Guarantee independence. Cool. So, since they did guarantee their independence, should I give up Mammal? Probably not. Maybe I shouldn't. No, oh, I can't do this as one front line. It's a bit of an issue. Oh no, it's not. It's fine. I'll just do two orders. Assign some of you here. And then we can reorganize once the fighting starts. It's all good. There's no manpower in these units. Let's cancel them. So we have more equipment for reinforcements. We'll need that political power when the fighting starts. Let's use all the planes to cover Poland. Are we good to go? More or less. You can be a skirmisher, that's fine. And you can be a guerrilla fighter. Guerrilla, sorry. Oh, I want to garrison my ports, but we can do that after we deal with Prussia. Oh, and we're almost done with the supply hubs. Cool. We will need to connect them to the railways, won't I? It's fine. We will build more railways if there's trouble. So I am guaranteed by the Brits, which is good. So I don't have to give up memo. That would buy me some time. I'm not sure I need that time. What I need is more manpower. Let's do these two. 
better railways will help out a bit. I think we're well equipped to face the Germans. Oh, the force estimator seems to disagree. We really should have built the forts. It's a bit too late for that now. I guess there's a bit too many down here. Relocate to this order here. Kelly joins, Motov Ribbentrop, and they're demanding Memo. Or doing... No, can they actually demand Memo if it's not Lithuanian? They're probably doing the Antigo War already. This is fine, or at least it seems fine. Guys trained up yet? Mostly. Let's get fighters too. Should I use armored trains? Or normal trains? Let's use armored ones in a moment. Now. And do we want the railway gun? Sure. Let's do railway guns. And we can actually start guns 3 in 1939 and finish them in 1940, even though they are a technology from 1942. Keeping that political power ready. Did you start the mission? Oh, you did, and you finished it. Great. Should we do that again? And automatically repeat. If you can. Oh, yeah. Build that railway, please. We'll need it soon. I don't have support equipment. And the Soviets are already justified on me. That's a bit early, isn't it? When will you be ready? 210 days. I might be ready in time. Get some support equipment for the spies. Make sure to stockpile a lot of guns. We'll need them soon for the Soviet border. Let's do the railway station. That'll help. Stop your exercise. Attack. A lot of Germans here, but they will have some supply troubles, I think. New commanders. We'll use them later. Let's go war. We're not making a deal with... Or maybe we should. See, I wanted to not make a deal with them, but the Soviets are already justifying on me. So maybe it's a better choice to just beat up the Soviets first. We do have a British guarantee, so we should be fighting the Soviets with the Allies. I mean, it's a small price to pay for temporary security. The security will be temporary, but we can use that to beat up the Soviets completely, probably destroy them. You know what, I'm gonna make a deal with Adolf. I didn't want to, I didn't plan to, but it feels like the better choice here. I mean, we'll beat him up still. This is our core territory, we want it back. But we'll beat Joseph. First, Adolf can wait his turn. Will the Brits withdraw their guarantee? If they don't, that's actually good for me. Eastward expansion. Huh. Do you think... Yeah, we'll get some fascist support, but that's not the problem. You think they would let me into the Axis? No, they would not. Will I need to be defending, or do we just attack them? Maybe let's defend initially, until we can change manpower and industry laws, and then put all that new equipment and manpower to work. Stuff is decrypted? Yes, yes. Uh, right. I'm focusing my operations on the Axis, even though I will be fighting the Soviets first. But since I already started and I do have the network built up and all that, let's just continue doing it. And now decrypt the Soviet Union. I did not plan on this, but it's fine. All right. They're fighting the Allies. See, we could... I think we could easily crush them if we were fighting them and the Allies. I mean, they were fighting us and the Allies. But what worried me is the Soviet justification. See, we would have a limited time to crush Germany. Maybe I made a mistake, but I think crushing Joseph first and then focusing on Adolf will be better for us. I should do is change him into Edward Rydschmigwe. You can lead this army here to gain experience. And these armies will have their special roles. For example, you will garrison my ports. You will push north towards Leningrad. You will push south towards Crimea. You will just uh, sit here and wait for something to happen. And Mr. Pilecki here will push the northern bit, this northern bit, towards Leningrad and Moscow. Not yet, but soon. Also finish your exercise. You do have the time now. Oh, did I forget to do a focus? No. No, it's fine. Well, since we will be fighting the Soviet Union, first, let's get some claims. And industrial concern. Perhaps I should have switched my economy. Eh, well. Still preparing the operation. Let's get some more factories doing that. Buy some aluminium. And the railway guns are now a thing. Needs manpower. Sure, let's make those as well. The chromium and tungsten. This will do. I don't even know how to deploy railway guns. I haven't used them before. I guess we'll know once we build one. Italy wants docking rights. That is uh, strange, to say the least. Hmm. Perhaps it was a mistake not to fight Germany yet. We'll find out. Sooner or later. Oh, we can do war propaganda now. Oh yeah, because they're on the offensive. Sure, let's do that. And get the Soviet spy. And some of these raids. The fascist raids. That enables improved worker conditions and democratic and anti-communist raids. All of that will increase my stability. Slightly, but it will. How long until they have their war goal? Not that long. A few more factories, please. Still in preparation. This is taking forever, isn't it? Atomic research. Four research boosts. Oh, I do have a war goal on them. But it's better to be in a defensive war. So let's just wait for Joseph to attack. We might be fighting alongside Finland. Okay, they declared war on Finland. They'll probably declare war on me as well. Maybe we can create a faction with Finland. Can I do Minzemoja? No, not a major yet. Do we want to do fighter three? I don't think so. Not unless we get a bonus. Can we get a bonus? Yes, we can, actually. Maybe we should do fighter three. And I'll just produce fighter two. All oh, right, speaking of fighters and such, split the Soviet half. Mm, it doesn't seem to work. Very well. Okay, let's do it differently. Get them all to merge. Deploy more if we can. And merge these as well. Now split them. Half will cover this area, the other half will cover this area here. Help against the Soviets. Both Paris and France capitulates. Let's do war austerity train. And France capitulated, so we have to adjust our trades. 
that'll do. Two new commanders to make use of that command power we have. Are we getting ready to invade me again? I did give you your territory. I know I can't trust him, but I'm hoping I can kill Joseph before I have to kill you. Yep, the Soviet Union has attacked us and we have called in the Allies. We can join them if we want. Do we want to join them? Hmm, yes, sure, let's join the Allies. I will of course not join the war against the Germans. At least not yet. Okay. Right now we are on the defensive and it's going fine. Let's let them fight us a bit. For now, service by requirement. I mean, I could go extensive conscription first and so on, but I want to deploy way more troops and I'm not sure how that will affect our possibilities of switching that and total mobilization and we'll do women in the workforce in a moment. And there it is, women in the workforce. Do I really want to spend two focuses on just getting the fighter three? I don't think I do. Oh, can I bypass these now that I've given up Lanzig? Yes, I can. Okay, we could use that later. Let's do the extra railways. How are the casualties? We are losing almost nobody, and they're losing a lot. Good. Let's keep it up. We will push later. Right now, let's just let them attack us and die. For the operations, I don't really need a collaboration government against the Soviets, because I will have core territory in most places there. However, collaboration governments do make it easier to capitulate them. I will still want um, a good network in there as well, though. All right, I'm part of the Allies now. Uh, do you want to let me be spymaster when I have the political power? Our stability is growing. No, oh, are they gonna break through? Could you please reinforce this bit here? That's a bit better. Right, uh, let's also make sure they are fully motorized. Because I do have the cars for it. That should make the supply situation a bit better. Oh, right, the others are not in the war, are they? Oh, no, they are. They just want me to fight the Germans. <laughs> no, thank you. I was unable to automatically repeat coalition government. Why? Ah, damn it, because I'm part of the Allies now, isn't it? And it overrides my ability to do collaboration governments. It's fine. I just use spies in other ways. I can always exit the Allies after we're done with the Soviet Union as well. And the coalition that we already have will stay. Actually, let's keep the two Germans in Germany and send a Polish spy to the Soviet Union. It's looking good. I don't have any forts. I have a lot of troops, but they're not breaking through. Good. Very good. And we have the cipher ready. And you guys are getting skills. Infantry expert and infantry expert and also possibly infantry expert. Oh, he gained two levels, that's a lot. Swamp Fox. Could make him an infantry advisor, but that's not what we need. We already have an infantry advisor. We need the other cool advisors. Hunger joint axis. Fortunately, I'm not at war with the axis. Our manpower is looking good. How are the stocks of guns? Good as well. Okay, let's make enough troops to fill this army group. We'll need 61. Oh, that's gonna take all the manpower, isn't it? Ah, it's okay. I'm mobilizing. This army here is not doing anything, but they are reinforcements. If there's a need to send them somewhere, that's where they'll go. How are we doing? Whoa! E for each of our dead soldiers, we've killed 10 Soviet ones. And that's without fortifications. Good. Some extra factories, please. Yeah, they don't seem capable of beating me up. Although, I might want to send one army to help Finland. Yeah, let's do that. We don't want them to capitulate. And we do have an army ready for that. Go. Operative available. Do we have any Soviet ones available? Yes, we do. There you go. Let's send them all the way here. Actually, it's the best to build up network in Vladivostok because um, it won't change as we advance and we can use it to launch missions everywhere. Can I get more stability? Not really. Public recognition. Well, the exile governments don't really care about that. War bonds maybe later. War propaganda. We are at 100, but if we do an offensive war, that will go down. So since we can do war propaganda against Germany at a low price, let's do that. Improvisation expert. Who did I send over to Finland again? You. Sikorsky. Let's deploy the troops. Send them where they're supposed to go. Oh, they did not automatically get assigned to all this. God damn it. All right, all right. Maybe if I do it this way, that's better. Okay, now they got assigned. Good. And maybe Sikorsky will push back a bit. His Finland's not doing too well. Or maybe just standing on the border will be sufficient. How's our army experience? Decent enough to start investing it in doctrines. We are on a very good defensive doctrine, though. Hmm. Do we want to switch to mass assault yet? I think we do. Switch and here and here. And we have three doctrines down now. Let's get some other boosts. Lend lease, yes. I think I'm going to try and push back against the Soviet Union in Finland because Finland has lost some territory. We have not, have we? No, we have not. Good. And they're still attacking and they're still losing troops and equipment. Troops are not such a big deal for the Soviet Union, but equipment is. Any Soviet operative available? No. Can we hire one? Yes. I'm not using the cipher because I'm not really pushing. Although I suppose we have the good cryptography. I could use it and then use it again later. Should I keep defending and let them crush against us a bit more? Yes, probably. Oh, why are you guys still here? It's German territory now. Lenlees, yes. I put my guys on cautious, don't want to. Oh, oh, they pushed into my territory a little bit. Maybe it is time to push back. No, probably not yet. How about the railway guns? You guys ready? Almost. That's just one gun, though. You know what? I'm just gonna buy steel from Germany. Well, Vichy France. It's a bit better. 
We're not enemies after all, are we? Actually, I'm gonna put Sikorsky on balanced. Because these guys have no supply at all. Oh, railway guns. Can I assign a railway gun to the army? No, we don't have any. Right, I don't know how to use railway guns. I haven't used them yet. We'll build one soon and we'll know. Maybe I should put more factories on that. Oh, five is the maximum. Hmm. Okay, let's make two railway guns simultaneously. It's gonna be a big blow if they just bomb it. Building factories quickly. Bessarabia has been seated. Small problem. Are they out of equipment yet? Are you still attacking or not? Oh, we do have equipment. New operative available. Let's take Duskopopov. Just because he's cool. We're going to send him over to Germany and we're going to do some more operations against them while we do have a high level of infiltration. And do the same to the Soviets. Infiltrate their army. I guess I'll leave the one in Vladivostok to keep building the spy network. Or the one in Moscow. The one in Moscow. That'll do. Check casualties. The balance is a bit worse now. Oh, right, because I'm attacking. You go mm, cautious, after all. Buy some rubber. And I need some more fighters. Speaking of, let's modify this fighter a bit. Give it max reliability. And some other boosts. And guns 3 are done. Start building them. They are expensive to build, but they're very, very strong. Again, this is this is still looking fine. Oh, you guys don't have supply down here. Mm, probably not worth building something. What kind of advisors can we make? Commando specialist. Uh, no, I'm not really using these. Should I be building more fighters? Possibly. Oh, they finished the railway gun. Um, how do I do something with it? I have to assign it to an army or something? Where I click the railways? Scotia. No, that's not it. Oh, here it is. It automatically deployed. Okay, then. Mm, we don't want them at the front lines. How about here? That's gonna boost all the fights in the range, right? Do I need to assign it to an army? Oh, no, no, no. I think I just rather place it manually. This way it's safe. Don't want it destroyed. Oh, let's see. Are you getting a bonus from the gun? Mm, I don't think I am getting that bonus. But it is shooting, so it's doing something. Maybe it can only join one army at a time. Oh, well, let's just trust that they work. Ah, oh, damn it. Finland's lost. Let's retreat the army. Well, I'm not an enemy of the Germans, so we'll be fine with this, but we really need to escape quickly before we're pinned down by the Soviets. You guys can help this area a bit. Evacuate Finland. Quickly. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. These guys are gonna die. Run. It was a bit late on the evacuation. Oh no, you're in German territory, that's fine. Just run there. German territory is good for me. Come on, exile my unit. Good, it can run home now. Saved by the Germans. Run away, some of you will survive. Let's keep expanding our industry. Still good on this? Yeah, they only take... They only took this one province. It's all good. How are the spies? Oh, infiltrate army only takes one operative? Oh no, one operation is done, the other is not. That's what happens. Okay, infiltrate... Soviet civilian administration. Why not? Some of my guys are still alive. Can I get military access to Sweden? Nope. Wait a minute, maybe if we run here the Germans will take the territory. Nope. Okay, these guys are dead. I just disband them. I'll lose 80% of their manpower, which means some of them will escape, which is better than none escaping. Right. More troops. How are we doing on guns? We have lots of them. Good. Maybe we can even give them support soonish. Right, let's go to three army groups. Deploy them as those small units. I'll return 20 for an army group and 6 for reinforcements. Just go to Warsaw. Okay. Need more oil for the planes. A couple of synthetic refineries will do the trick. Infiltrate German civil administration. I think it's time to start investing in artillery soon. Should I get even more planes? I probably should. What if I detemplate a bit? Apparently boosting the engine does not affect reliability, so let's do that. I like having maxed reliability. Greer fighter, sure. Do that. And he can become a logistics specialist, which is absolutely wonderful. There you go, Bolesław Wieniawa Dłukoszewski. You're now employed as an advisor. Also, he can now manage more troops, so let's add six more here. Whoops, that's a Soviet naval invasion. I am guarding the ports, so they don't have supply, but I still need to counter it quickly. Go deal with them. See, without the port they're not having supplies, so they're not a big threat. But still, I need to wipe them out because they can surround my ports and, you know, make trouble. More industry everywhere. Invasion being wiped out. How are the losses? We lost 300,000 and they lost one and a half million to us. Mm, they still don't seem to be out of equipment, but I want to boost my guys a bit before committing to fight them. Mm, I could promote one of them to a field marshal. Yeah, they're doing a good job where they are. Let's keep it that way. Romania joins Axis. Eventually they're gonna fight the Soviets and that will be an opportunity of sorts. Oh, he's level 6. Cool. Now he's a, now he's a logistics expert. Deploy all the troops. And to support, now a new army group. Let's use Sikorsky as the leader of this army group. Do we have enough guns and people to switch these units? I don't think so. Oh no, we actually do. Okay then, let's switch them and you can actually exercise. Stay in the capital, all of you. Or just go to the German border, doesn't matter. Exercise. That's the important bit. Let's infiltrate the Soviet Air Force. Should we be using the ciphers? The cryptology department is doing nothing. It's already 1941 and we didn't really do anything, did we? But it's fine. We're gaining strength. Although I need more oil. 
And again, these synthetic refineries will probably do the trick. They are running out of equipment, it seems. Okay, a little bit longer and we'll push back. So make sure all our troops are properly exercised. Let's check the casualties. Almost 2 million on their side and one third of a million on our side. So six times as many we've killed. Adaptable, I don't think that counts for the field marshal, does it? I don't think so. So let's take a field marshal trait. Organization first. Improvisation expert. Naval invasion eliminated. Yugoslavia just got involved. I have a lot of political power. Oh, I should have taken a light aggro designer. You know what, maybe I will go for fighters 3. We'll need this focus for it. We still can do the battle plans. Not sure they'll do anything for us, but we can. How's our mobilization? Just 7% and we should go up to 10. Let's keep doing armored trains rather than war austerity ones. And two more railway guns are about to be ready. But I am out of trucks. Let's add some more. Let's buy stuff from the UK. And Italy has taken Yugoslavia. Not my problem. We're not enemies. At least not yet. The Soviets really seem to be out of equipment, at least in some places. We should be able to crush them soon. How's the air situation? Mm, not so good. Should I just send all the planes here? Is that better? No, not really. You stay here. Next, Doctrine. Oh, two new railway guns. We got one here, reaching as far as this province. Send one over here and another back here maybe we'll see the range in a moment mm, that's too far how about here instead you know it's gonna be a bit better or i could just add them to armies should probably do that it's gonna be more efficient let's hope they don't get destroyed maybe they'll be too close to the front lines but let's hope they are not why do i keep moving like this yeah that should do it still making more so it seemed to have stopped their attack infiltrate the german air force oh germany never attacked scandinavia just noticed that now oh the soviets are attacking what are the railway guns doing are we actually in the fight? We're moving around. Maybe adding them to armies is not the best choice. You should be shooting. Yeah, let's just uh, order them around manually. No, it's too much work. I'll trust that this is their game management. Each army will get a railway gun if I can afford that. Fighter modernization. We did invest a lot in Fighter 2 already, but we'll flip to Fighter 3. It should be much better. We're getting very little fuel from those refineries. Maybe building them was not the right choice. We should probably just buy some oil. Yeah, building refineries is a waste of effort. Let's cancel that. They're expensive and pointless. Give me military factories instead. Let's do battlefield support. And when we have enough fighter planes, we should probably also do CAS. But I just don't have enough factories for all of this. All right, they really seem to be out of equipment. All our reserve? Fine. So I thought I will want to add artillery, but I don't think I will. Let's just send everyone to the front lines. Set everyone to balanced. And it's time to strike back at the Soviet Union. Get ready to be destroyed. So assign the planes and go. Let's see how well we do. We do have some manpower in reserves, almost a million. And could be more guns, but... Oh, right. Cypher. Damn it, I don't have the cipher yet. Okay, we'll activate it in a moment. Should have had it from the start. Oh well. Most is in the green. We're making quite quick gains. So just sitting back and letting them kill themselves against our defenses seems to have been the right choice. But let's look at the casualties. Are they mounting up quickly? Not as quickly as I feared. Also, we just got a bonus to hard attack from this. Karabin Przeciwpancerny. Anti-tank rifle. Oh, we can get rubber from those refineries as well. Perhaps they're not as useless as I thought they were. Yeah, whatever. We can just buy the resources we need. Stuff is decrypted. Wonderful. Activate it immediately. As you can see, green all across the board. Because they lost all their equipment trying to beat me. Let's research some CAS. This is going well. Once we get enough, we'll be able to get core territories there. The greater Commonwealth. But we have to get really far. But yeah, as you can see, we were biding our time. We sat back relaxed, let them do the fighting and die, and now we're pushing back. All in the green. Wonderful. Can we get more stability? No. We could get more war support. Sure. And let's do war bonds and, and fascist raids. And that's it for now. Chief of Air Force. This dude. This is looking good. Might be some supply issues, but nothing major. This one army is in reserve, but I guess I can send it to the front lines as well. Poland, the crusher of the Soviets. 87, 88% participation. That's quite a lot. Now we will have to go quite far into the Soviet Union to destroy them. And are we running out of um, equipment yet? No, not yet. Good. Okay, with this, we can improve our railways a bit. Sure, let's do that. We don't have enough fighters. Oh, actually, speaking of fighters, are you assigned where you're supposed to be assigned? Yeah, that's fine. I guess I could split you and send on some to Ukraine. This will do, more or less. Maybe get closer to the middle. Don't have our superiority here, and we won't have our superiority here. But we will have it elsewhere. Doctrine, combat width of infantry will be reduced. Which means I can fit even more people into that template. And we get drastically more manpower. Is this already my core territory? Oh, it is. 
So this is already my core stuff. If I look at the resistance map, yeah, this is all my core territory. So by getting this, I get full manpower, which is why I worth 2 million. So what is our width on this template? It's actually 8. So if I add another, it's going to be 9.6. So I can just put more troops into this. Let's maybe not do it right now, because... Do I have enough guns? Let's duplicate this. And I'm gonna use the reference rate of 12, even though it's 9.6. So let's call it 9.6 in brackets. And save that. And I'm gonna flip some of you into the new template, putting more troops in the field. Let's see if we don't use too much equipment. Yeah, just one army is enough. Otherwise, we'll be out of equipment. This is going well. Could even go aggressive. Oh, uh, it's going back to Finland. Yeah, because we're in the same faction. Ah, oh, that's fine. Although the Germans will take it from them. Maybe I just don't push that way. Yeah, let's just not push that way. You, you cancel your orders and push down here instead. I heard there's some oil there. And I don't need much oil, just need some for the planes. I do have the convoy so I can start buying steel from the United States or from the United Kingdom. Maybe stop at the Vichy France trade. So I do intend to fight them at some point. The Americans will want to join the war soon. Oh, there's too many convoys. And we can buy the rest from Vichy France. Supporting both sides, apparently. This is going very well. Rotmistrz Pilecki, level 3. Level 6, improvisation expert. Competing machine done. There's the Fighters 3. Is that Fighter 3? Yeah. I think it'll be slightly better than the Fighter 2 we're using. Probably not noticeably so. Ah, it's fine. Our industry is about to get wonderfully powerful once we take the Soviet Union. Yeah, I'm thinking about going aggressive, but I guess there's no need to do it. We're progressing nicely. The Soviet Union has killed itself trying to fight us. Oh. Seems like I lost the railway gun, which is a terrible disappointment. Maybe I should really manage them manually, keep them away from the front lines. Where's the other one? Yeah, go here, so we have Moscow in range, but you're not actually in danger. So we have Moscow, I think we're about to take it. I don't know, I'm not convinced with these railway guns. They are powerful, but they keep moving around. You have to keep them out of combat. Probably not worth it. Maybe I'll just uh, finish the ones you're building and that's enough. Would have done much better just spending that on planes, probably. Although having a few can be helpful. But it's too much micromanagement to use them effectively, I think. Let's station it in Moscow itself. Can I do that, please? Why won't you move? Are you currently shooting or something? Conversion of rail... Oh, right. Uh, they're using different widths of railways, so I can't enter a province until the conversion is complete. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Crimea, oh Crimea. You, you go to Crimea. New operative. Right, we'll be going after the Germans soon, so let's get another German. Philippines capitulate. Do we care? Not really. 94% on the Soviet. The cipher is decrypted. Go on then, use it. Where is that railway gun thing? I should have two. Let's make sure to select them both. Can I find the second one? See, now I can't even find them. Maybe assigning them to armies was the better choice. There it is. I'm just gonna send them over to the capital. We'll use them against the Germans. Push through Ruthenia. Now, how much more do we need? Crimea? Oh, we need Königsberg for that as well. Okay. So only once we're actually fighting the Germans, we'll be able to get the core territories. Yeah, that's a bonus for CAS. Should we do that? Where are we on the CAS research? Yeah, sure, let's use that. We're gonna have lots of industry once we take on the Soviets. Go a little bit out of equipment, but nothing too major. How about the losses? We lost less than a million. The Soviets lost three million and a bit. And we're deep in their territory, so all is good. They're still far from capitulation, but we can manage that. We'll deal with them shortly. Germany has attacked. I wonder what they're gonna do if they don't even have a border. No, sorry, they do have a small border, just with this bit. They're not gonna do much, I'm gonna take everything. I could join the Axis now if I wanted to, but there's no need. Push through, get lots of territory up north. Now we can advance north as well, although it doesn't really matter who owns this bit. Yeah, they're calling everyone in, but it's a bit late. You don't even have a border with the Soviets. And I have 94% participation. Mm, I think it's time for a couple of civilian factories. And then more military, of course. A beautiful sight to behold, isn't it? And we're done with the doctrine. And these? Yes, of course. Hungary is sending me land these because we're fighting the Soviets. They should be surrendering, actually, a long time from now. Still need quite a lot. We're about to get Stalingrad, but apart from that, still a lot of work to do. How's that cipher coming along? Oh, I don't have it activated. Should we go aggressive to speed this up? I'm not sure. Well, we are out of supplies. Supplies are a problem. If we go aggressive, there's a greater chance of actually, you know, pushing, even though we don't have supplies. So let's put everyone on aggressive. So it was actually got exiled in Germany. Right, railway to Crimea? Sure, why not? Now we're pushing a bit more on the aggressive. We're gonna have higher losses, but we'll finish this quicker. And manpower and equipment won't really be a problem for much longer. We're already almost maximum compliance in Estonia. Compliance in the Soviet Union, not so great. But once we take some territory from the Germans, I'll switch all of this into my core territory and all will be well. How are the casualties? Not that great. We're almost there. Also, I changed my mind about the railway guns. Let's just keep making them. I'll put them around the German border when we're ready to attack. 
CAS 3. And the ore fields. 95% participation. Do the Germans have any? I can't really see that. I hope it doesn't bug out and give them all the Soviet Union. And you can be an army regrouping specialist, which is absolutely perfect and exactly what I needed. Finally, we have a full roster of advisors. Hmm, Vitor Pilecki could become that as well. Sure, let's make him an infantry guy. Perhaps if he advances, he'll be a genius and then we can use him. Shouldn't they be surrendering by now? Almost. Almost there. So get Murmansk and move a bit further this way. Take Baku and so on. That should be enough. And then the Soviets are mine. Looking good. Not fighting Adolf was the right choice, I think. Of course, we'll have to take him on. That can wait a bit. So I've decrypted now, right? Let's enable the cipher and finish them off. There's a capital now. All the way in Vladivostok. Did Hungary get Slovakia? Nope. This is a bit weird, isn't it? I'll just leave it alone. Things will fix themselves. We'll take this territory from the Soviets and then the Germans will take it from the Finnish. But we still can advance here. And that's what matters, I guess. I'll just send everyone this way. It's gonna be better. Take Baku. Anything else to invest in here? Well, that is a few dockyards. Could use that for convoys. Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna do Plan West. I'm interested in seeing what options I have here. Because I am gonna fight the Germans soon. It could be helpful. I don't really care about the forts. We won't need them. We will be the attacker. But maybe other bonuses. Baku is still standing. How many victory points is that? Ten. Is that enough for them to capitulate? Not yet. I brought Murmansk. We are about to take that, aren't we? Go around them a bit. Maybe they'll capitulate. We need this fight to be finished soon. Because I'm attacking aggressively and losing some people. But, yeah, it's time to fight the Germans soon. Lumaisk is mine. Is that enough? Not yet. 23 out of 20. You guys don't even have supplies, dear. How about a manual attack? Can you do that? Maybe that will work better. Any important victory points in the vicinity? One, 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 two. Well, there's some points here. Three, one... About north. Nope, just one. Five, that's something. One in perm. This one has five. Maybe storm that. If we can take it, might be enough. We're almost there. Oh, they're moving fast. Good, very good. Finish them off. Improve worker conditions. And actually research some support companies because I might use them. We're out of guns temporarily. 98%. <laughs> this is taking forever, isn't it? Oh, and here's Finland being killed by the Germans. Take the victory points. So, plan west. What does it give me? Decisions of Polish Lithuanian defensive plan. I want an offensive plan though. It's just forts, Prussian line forts, anti-air. Anti-air, this is, this is nice. Could use it. Okay, let's the, get the bonuses to anti-air. Oh, come on, Joseph. Give up already. That's my participation. 96%. So yeah, let's annex the Soviet Union in a moment. And after that, turn against Adolf. Also train some more troops. And maybe equip them better. 99%. Come on, just a few more bits. Am I running out of steam now? Well, there is no supply in the area, so this is difficult. Perhaps logistics companies would be the right choice in here. What is that? Where'd you come from? Persian rifles. Wait a minute. Iran become communist. God damn it. Okay, that's that's a new thing. Go kill it. The two of you do the same thing from the other side. We'll get even more oil for our planes. Just be fast. Kill them before the Soviet Union capitulates. Ah, damn it. Now it's not good that they capitulated already, because I could get Iran in this as well. Well, they are communists, so I can just attack them. Nevertheless, here we are, with the most points. Is Germany even in this conference? Well, Italy is. So Germany must be here as well, somewhere. I'm gonna take everything. Start by taking everything that borders somebody else, so they shouldn't be able to take anything else. And there's a chance that uh, the Brits, for example, will try to change the government here or something like that. But if we act quickly enough, this shouldn't be an issue. So I don't remember which ones I need for the core territory. If all goes well, I will just get everything there is, so it won't be an issue at all. Should we get Mongolia too? Maybe in a later round. Let's prioritize the stuff next to us. We're gonna get almost everything in the first round. Almost. This is it. This is as much as we can take in the first round. Did anyone else get anything? Supervised state. Seriously. <sighs> Silly UK. You're gonna have a puppet state right here. But I'm gonna pass once. We could have started with that. Doesn't really matter because now I'm gonna get all the rest. UK will be left with this little bit here. Is that everything? Oh, I can satellite Iran because Iran is their puppet. Excellent. Thank you. Iran, communist. Authority is now my puppet. Supervised state of Poland. Haha, <laughs> cool. Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Now, we still have the Germans to take care of, don't we? Oh, and Tanutuva. They're still at war with Romania. Can I do a war goal on them? Yes, but it will take forever. Now, we have quite a lot of territory and industry. So let's prepare to fight the Germans properly, shall we? I'm thinking one more army group. 126, please. Good. Cancel all your orders. Well, except for you. You keep guarding the ports. But we have way more ports now. I'll we'll actually have to send some troops to him as well. We got almost all the territory of the Soviet Union. Could have made them a puppet to avoid that, but it's good the way it is. Guard all the naval bases, please. How many do you need for that? Just 21. Okay, I'll send you some reinforcements nevertheless. So what do we do with Iran? They are a supervised state, so I can't annex them, I think. 
Oh, is that because I'm in the ally? So even though I'm non-aligned, I got the crappiest type of puppet. But I will uh, get cheap oil from them. If I need more oil, that is. I probably don't need more oil. Because I just acquired a lot of resources. Let's get our guys home. Provisional government? No. No provisional governments. Let's not spoil the map look. Why you go claim stuff? We don't care. But we only have 30% collaboration in Germany. Did that mission automatically fail? Should I just exit the Allies? Should I just leave faction? Can I do that? Wait, did they kick, kick me out? I can see myself here. Maybe I missed it. Yeah, I think they kicked me out. <laughs> After the war with the Soviets, they kicked me out because I'm not democratic enough, I think. That's okay. The only problem is I lost my super spies. That's fine. Do some more propaganda. Oh, I could get more resources with these. It costs some civilian factories for a while, but it might be worth it. Sure. Let's get all the resources. Hmm. Old God. Let's get him. Which means I can... Oh, Russian Federation. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, they're a puppet now. Where was I? Yes, I can now do collaboration governments again. She will go to Berlin. He will go... Hmm. Where? Maybe here. Two Germans, to the collaboration government, as soon as possible, automatic repeat, go. Decrypt Romania and Hungary and Italy. Military access from the UK should not have kicked me out of the faction. UK. The exiled ones are going home, that's fine. Let's make sure to switch you guys to the bigger template. No, oh, some are cut off from supply. We'll switch them soon enough. Now the slightly bigger template. We have lots of manpower, so we can afford to do it. A bit too many trucks, don't need that many. And now that I'm extracting lots and lots of resources out of the Soviet soil, we might want to change our economy laws. Not economy, uh, the trade laws, so that we keep more of these resources. But it's not a big deal yet. Six of railway guns in our possession. We'll get a bit more. Are the railways good enough? I think they are. Hmm, not up north, they're not. Let's get you to level two. And maybe get an extra supply hub in the area. And I need a connection that's not going through Leningrad. Just in case. Something here and something here. Something like that should work. It should be good enough. You always build up some more. Deploy the troops. Switch them to a proper template. And that's our fourth army group. Now, who should I make a field marshal? Someone high level who didn't get a lot of traits, so it's not clogged up. I only gave Vodislav Anders infantry expert, so I think he's a good candidate. And also a family member of mine served under him, so yeah feels right. Now, these two would be better, but I gave him infantry expert, improvisation expert, career fighter, so it clogged up the options for a field marshal trait. But so far, this will be better. Logistics wizard, offensive doctrine, and sadly, we can't get another. And a bunch of level two guys. If not everyone's trained up, make sure everyone's trained up. Right, let's do local plan, uh, local western plans, and see what decisions this unlocks. That's a lot of fighters. Good. They researched the cast three yet. Not yet. Now, getting ready for the Germans. Oh, he could be a logistics expert level, or expert level. And currently we have, who do we have? 8% division attrition, and this is the same thing. All oh, right, he's level 6 as well. So that's fine. How about infantry? This guy is our infantry expert, but he's not actually a general, so he won't advance to genius. So let's replace him. Can we do that? Let's replace him. He's an expert as well. All oh, right, I have to fire him first. He's an expert as well, but he can become a genius if he advances to level eight. I was thinking of giving them support companies, but it looks like my production is not gonna allow that. I will need the trucks for supply, this for missions, Air Force as well. Hmm. I guess we're just doing it the way we have them. Apparently supply here is terrible. Did I build the hub yet? Oh no, it's on the way. Let's disband all the air wings. I will, maybe that was a mistake, but I wanted to reorganize them. Let's verify. In order to get all the cores I need, uh, Prussia, Wurschleichen, Niederschleichen, Ostmark and Hinterpommern. Let's have a look. Wurschleichen, Niederschleichen, Ostmark and Hinterpommern. So I need these four here. And Prussia. Really, I don't need Danzigor, Gdynia. And all the territory I already have in order to get cores everywhere. Good. Let's wait a bit longer and build up our strength. We're making the best infantry guns. Perhaps I should make some more. Hmm. We should make more roads. That will help with supply, won't it? When you're using trucks. Please get to 60% here. Anti-air with buffs. And we've researched Fighter 3. Now, our Fighter 2 is buffed. This is not. But it should still be better. Range is higher. Attack and defense are higher. Agility is higher. Yeah, everything's gonna be better with this one. So it has the bonus from uh, the thingy. Uh, let's boost it immediately. Extra reliability on the first run. Let's start making these. We have six railway guns right now. I should probably distribute them. One goes here. One goes over to Bialystok. Hmm, maybe that's too close. No, no, it's fine. I'm gonna have more. One goes all the way to Warsaw. No, actually here. This is better. One goes here. Another one there. And another one to Krakow. Rather right next to it over here should be good. Let's select all of the guns. Uh, they're too densely packed here, don't need this one. Let's move it over here. 
this is fine. Although you move here instead. Bush France joined Axis. And those are our railway guns. They should help out a bit. We'll get more I'll put them near Romania. Now we got some extra decisions for local plans. At least we should get them. I don't see any. I mean it needs some time. Oh, they're on the map. What's that? Gdynia defensive plan. Okay. Anti-German plans. 60 days for division attack, division defense breakthrough boosts. And that's very good. But wait a minute. Oh, I need to be at war with them for this to work. Okay. So if I bank political power, I can use it to boost stuff here. Oh, I can do between the seas concepts. Should we? Who else who we could get into the faction is not in it yet. We could get Turkey. That's something. We could get Sweden and Norway and Denmark. Mm, that is something. That is something. Yeah, why not? Don't really have anything better to do right now. Sure, let's do that. Although, do I need to finish the plans for this to take effect? I don't really care about the forts. We'll be the attacker. That's yeah, okay. Let's just do the alliance. More industry buffs. How is our supply situation? Well, actually, equipment situation is what I mean. Getting better. You have some artillery. I only have 3,000. If I were to add an artillery company, how much would I need? I'd need almost 6,000. But we could do it. It would increase soft attack quite significantly. Perhaps we should. Depends on how long we want to spend preparing. Let's make some artillery. How about 10 factories doing it? Two per day. Not a lot. There's the 20. And 20 on anti-air as well. We'll add them as support companies. Maybe a bit more on the anti-air. Yeah, that'll do. Let's add them as support companies. We name this to plus support. Actually, I'll duplicate it. And date. Add support artillery and support anti-air. Well, oh, actually, it takes more anti-air than artillery. Interesting. So we'll need even more of that. Now, and recon detachment. How much support equipment would we need per unit? This is doable. I'll add more later. Something like this. Get more steel, because we can. And anti-fascist raids. How are we doing on our spies? Did you finish your collaboration government mission? We're doing a third one. Good, do that. Now let's start switching our army over. You guys will get the support. Just one of the four armies for now. Let's see how much equipment we've been missing. Maybe we should give them rocket artillery too. They'll be unstoppable with it. So that's a lot of production. Depends on how long we want to delay the attack. Better anti-air. Oh, and the CAS is ready. I need more military factories. Let's do raiders as well. CAS. How many? 20 on fighters, 10 on CAS? Or 10 each? Maybe 10 each is enough. 20 on fighters. Right, between the seas thingy done. We could get Turkey out of this. Well, let's focus on Sweden, Denmark and Norway. The generic Romania accepts invitation. How? You are just in the Axis and you're at war with the Allies. This is silly. I would like to kick you from my faction. Alright, the one with support should have a different symbol well the shark why not so it's easy to recognize let's switch these guys out as well more railway guns but we have one here let's send one down this way and one over here they'll help a bit i need more i don't think i need more okay just move them around and that'll be enough let's finish the ones we're making and then it's enough we'll have spare guns logistics need anti-air need infantry equipment i do have enough artillery strangely enough i passed the finno pact right so now we improve relations with the scandinavian countries oh they hate me that's not gonna work i'm not going to agree to anything that was a waste of time wasn't it i'll try because the diplomatic missions will help diplomatic mission to sweden let's do the mediterranean which will lead us to turkey that we can use i'm going to switch all my troops to that support template with the shark we have as much time as we want and a powerful industry so we can just build enough of everything if we want to okay 8000 anti-air is a bit much let's add some more factories to it once that's available speaking of factories how are we doing here well enough although do we really need that many civilian ones let's cancel all these extras get these down to one each and focus on the military side of things even on the front lines it's fine all right you will do the roads first that's fine too no romania i'm not joining your war against the allies in fact i want to kick them these diplomatic missions will probably do nothing to help us how are the spies doing they're on a mission it's a wonderful feeling to not be in a hurry. Oh, apparently I'm not making enough trains. Right, let's switch to the austerity train because it's cheaper. Bypass Yugoslavia focus. A lot of other stuff, but we can do one with Turkey. But now, um, which mission did we do? We did Sweden. Let's do Turkey next and improve relations with them as well. And try to invite Sweden. Probably won't work. God damn it. I just uh, messed up the army groups a bit. We have to rearrange stuff again. Mm, a bit later. We become the spy master of our own faction, but we're only there with Romania and... And no, Iran as well. So I guess nobody will take that away from us. Yeah, I cancelled all the air wings, which was probably a mistake. I should have just reorganized them and all that so they wouldn't lose the experience. But it's okay. No big deal. I'm on free trade and I'm hardly buying anything because we extract a lot. We add more support companies. Well, I am researching rocket artillery, which is super powerful. We invite Sweden. Next up, try to invite Turkey. Sweden will probably refuse. Oh, no, they actually accepted. I'm pleasantly surprised. Okay then, we'll do Norway. Will I have to kick Romania? 
Yes. Yes, I have to kick... God damn it, I have to kick Romania now before Sweden advised the Allies. Are you at war yet? You're not. Okay, quickly, quickly. Kick from action. Whew. That was close. Sure, you go with Japan, whatever. That's actually even better. I won't have to fight them when I attack the Germans. Well, actually, I have to attack the Hungarians, probably, because they're guaranteed by Japan, aren't they? Although retake core stay, this is tempting. We were unable to repeat the operation, which should mean it was a complete success and we are at 100%. Yes, yes it was. We've infiltrated almost everything. I guess I can infiltrate the Navy. Now that will make any difference. Okay, if I were to add rocket artillery to the template, I have a lot of army experience. I can just experiment with the templates without duplicating them or anything. It would increase soft attack significantly. And then a signal company. Leaving engineers out is a bit of an issue, because they get defense bonuses everywhere. But we will be attacking mostly. Hmm, maybe they're better. I'm gonna leave signal companies out this time, I think. Add engineers. Let's see how much equipment we need to provide. Let's do 30 factories on rockets, maybe 20 on CAS. And 30 on support equipment is enough, I think. And wait another year or so and then kill them. It's gonna be glorious. I feel bad about not using uh, initiative companies. What's, that? What's it called? Signal. Will Turkey join me? Turkey, would you like to join? Yes, you would. That's surprising. Again. Okay, the contact mission to Denmark. And let's do the resource things. Invite Norway. How is our compliance in the Soviet Union? Not the best. Just 50. Well, no, actually, that's that's quite a lot. Shouldn't I have more factories by now? Hmm. Will I have enough stuff? Probably not. Uh, Romania wants to restore alliance. Um, no, because you're at war with the Allies. No, thank you. We have invited Norway. Let's see what they say. They accept. Is that because we're big and strong? Might be. And last, Denmark. All right, we should do radars as well, shouldn't we? Denmark, you're the last one. Will you join? Yes, you would. Huh. I keep getting surprised by these. Okay, what do we do next? I don't need any of these. can use it to, I don't know, get bonuses to artillery and stuff like that. Boost to support artillery. Start working on Italy. We have enough agents in Germany. Is the Rhine about to be free? Should we build stuff in there? Can I do that even? Nope. So that was a bit pointless, wasn't it? At least they will be in the same faction, I guess. Give me garrison support and all your troops. Do you have any troops? You don't have any troops. Build everything, train everything, deploy everything, and only then attack. And it will be a massacre. We have the time. It's very relaxing doing, doing it slowly like that. But our radars. I drop the artillery to 10 factories. We have enough. This is my production queue. Not sure if it's good. We have 3,000 fighters stockpiled. Just 700 cas. Will that be sufficient? It should be sufficient. I have anti-air on all my troops. So it should be more than enough. Hmm, this gives me two factories. Actually, Got something better. This gives me 0% consuming goods factories for two years. Let's do that. I mean, it's not like we're in a bad situation with these. We're only on 5%, but 0 is better than 5. We need more strip mines. Well, this is steel, isn't it? We're good on that. Don't even need to buy anything right now. That will change. Sure, I guess I'll get a bit more. And interface trades too. Death of the Tsar of Bulgaria. Not my problem. And we have two more railway guns here. Let's see how we have them positioned. Well, there are some blank spots. Or I could just assign them to armies, but then they'll just die probably. No, no collaboration governments. Let's get you guys close to the border. Or just uh, closer than we previously dared to. And one of you shall go north to Leningrad. Although this is a place that can be navally invaded, so maybe here instead. That'll help a bit. Although, why are you not fighting Finland. You're at war with them, aren't you? This is weird. Hungarian cipher has been decrypted. Should I do some operations in Italy? I probably should. Let's use these two guys and automatically repeat when you're done. Improving rockets and artillery and all that. I will run out of equipment fast, won't I? At least we'll have a lot of oomph on the first attack. That 17 factories freed up with the focus in a moment. It's 0% consuming goods. So much better. Oh, this is good. Infantry equipment production cost minus 5%. That will help a bit. Bulgaria's in the access. Okay, we'll attack them from Turkey. Hmm. I need more troops for the garrison unit. 48 more, to be exact. Actually, the garrison unit doesn't need to have all the newest technologies, do they? So let's switch them down to a smaller one with less equipment. And also add 48 of them, so we know we can guard all our ports and our allies' ports as well. So let's add Turkey to the mix while we wait. And Sweden and Norway and Denmark, all our wonderful friends. Need 52 for that. Well, you're about to have 72. So there will be some leeway. Oh, we actually have enough anti-air and rocket artillery. That was relatively quick. I don't quite have enough support equipment. Another cipher ready. Let's have a look. This is all good. Add some more support equipment. Reduce the amount of anti-air and rockets to 20 factories and the rest can go into infantry equipment. Well, can I build the radars in my allies lands? I can! That's gonna help a lot. Maybe prioritize these radars. Better rocket artillery. Let's look at the logistics. We have trucks. We don't have guns at the moment. Trains could be better. Planes are fine. Artillery, rocket artillery, anti Air. Acceptable. Oh, I need some more anti-air. Add some factories here and add some factories 
in the trains department. Boost for a doctrine, that's fine. Let's replace the elusive gentleman, we don't need that many spies, uh, with the war industrialist. Move you over to Berlin to hold the network strength. Are we ready? Yeah, I think we are. So first I need to redeploy my units. Let's cancel all the orders you have everywhere, because the situation has changed since I created these orders. Well, except for the guards. Let's deploy the garrison troops, send them where they're supposed to be, and exercise them. The rest of you, you can take the German border on in a balanced manner. I oh, forgot to shift click that. It works better. And it treats it as one army. Okay, good. Next up, another entire army group that's going to do the exact same thing. Attack Germany. These guys going into Hungary, is that enough? Is one army enough for that? Probably not. The ones in Romania are probably not going to see any fighting. Because Romania is now no longer allied to the Germans. So I don't even need you here. I guess that's a lucky assignment for you. The ones here are definitely going to see a lot of action. And they will need some reinforcements from down south. Everyone should be unbalanced. And this army group is going to support our allies. You attack from Denmark. You attack from Turkey. You go to Turkey as well. They have a lot of stuff done here. Well, this is taken by the allies, so it's safe territory. We also activate all the orders everywhere. That leaves me with two armies ready to reinforce wherever it is needed. I guess I could use them to quickly cut the Germans off here. So one of them and the other will just be ready to help whoever needs it, including my allies, in case of a naval invasion or something like that. Right, that's about it. Next up, who do we attack? We need to attack Hungary or Vichy France or Bulgaria. Someone who's allied with the Germans but is not the Germans because of the guarantees. Whoa, Regency Council, I feel bad attacking a kid. He's in the Axis, just for a war goal. How long is that going to take? 125 here, 125. France, 30 days. Oh, really? Are you guaranteed by anyone special? No, you're not. All right then, France it is. But, um, maybe Provence, something deeper so nobody can take it while I'm justifying like uh, Rhone or whatever you pronounce this as. And we will be ready in a moment. Will you get in position before we want to attack? Possibly. Oh, those French. What are they up to again? All right, I'm buying steel from them. Should probably stop that. Who can we safely buy from? UK, probably, or the US. Probably US is the best choice because uh, the convoys will be going through safer areas, at least safer for my convoys. I could just buy it from my allies. No, they don't have enough. How's the radar building? Almost done. Actually, I can improve those a bit. Well, I guess it's time to deploy the planes. How many do we have? 4,000 fighters and 1.6 thousand CAS. We have 20 armies, I want to assign some to each of them. So I guess 200 fighters to each. And what's gonna that make it a 80 CAS? Something like that. We can do 50. 200 fighters it is each. They also have anti-air everywhere, so we should have air superiority all around. Germany is an industrial powerhouse, they have lots of fighters and all that, but so does the UK and they've been fighting them all the time. And I was not fighting them. I guess I could exercise them. Nah, it's fine. They'll learn in the field. Add 200 to each of the armies that we have. I guess the garrison army doesn't really need them, do they? Yeah, that's a detail. Everyone gets an equal amount of fighters. Okay, except the garrison army, because that would just be stupid. And the last one I'll just disband. We can go back to the reserves. Next up, the CAS. Let's do them in groups of 80, maybe. This is gonna take a while. We have ace pilots I could assign. Um, let's do that on uh, fighters. How do I assign an ace pilot? Here. Only four? It's not a lot. Easy kill is dead. Maybe we'll get more. More CAS. CAS deployed. I'll do logistic strikes as well. Sure. Okay, CAS is assigned. I still have some other planes. Not fighters, not CAS. Some leftovers. Interwar bomber. Sure, let's have those. And scout planes. Why not? And strategy bombers. Okay, that's fine. Do logistic strikes and recon and a support and strategy bomber. Yeah, that'll do. Add them to whichever army first one. Okay, we can't add strat bombers to a thing here like that. All right, just do central Germany, whatever. I think we're mostly good to go. Let's do another checkup on the railway guns. Yeah, we sent some to Romania. Those are gonna be wasted since they won't be fighting us, probably. Wait a minute, I sent one to Leningrad. Where is it? Maybe it's still on the way. Or did I lose a railway gun? It's possible. I think I lost a railway gun. Must have broken down somewhere. We have a repair option for them. I saw that once before. No, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, do the radars. Building factories in all our core territories. See? This is all core territory for us. Quite a lot of it. Okay, good. Where's my war goal? I'm ready to go. Now, my troops are small. They don't have a lot of hit points, but they hit hard. Just have a look. A soft attack of 153 for combat with Athen is quite a lot. Without any tanks. 
because I don't like using tanks. I just don't. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's do it then. Declare war on Vichy France. Call all my allies. Iran. Oh, I forgot about Iran. Do you border any of our enemies? You do not, so it doesn't matter. No, Japan is guaranteeing Germany, but it's not guaranteeing Vichy France, so we should only be fighting the Axis. We called Turkey, they called Hungary. We can already get into Hungary. Railway gun bombardment. Good, very good. And Germany has been called in. Slovakia and Italy and Germany. Let's see how well our small ten with units do against them. Well, small ten with units with lots of artillery behind them. And railway guns too. And planes. And where are the planes? Are they doing stuff? They are indeed doing stuff. Don't really have a superiority everywhere. I do have some. Yeah, the Germans have a lot of planes, don't they? But they have anti-air, so I should be shooting them down. How well is it going? It's not going as well as I hoped it would, but it is also going well enough. Oh, you should not be exercising anymore. Be sure to add this bit to your entrenchment. And this army has already done its job. That was the first one to succeed. Oh, I forgot this is Vichy France. Um, no matter, I have an, a free army right next to it. Go take Africa. Turkey will probably handle this, but um, I can send more help. Romania not getting involved, which was to be expected, and we're retaking our core territory, which means all that factory and manpower goodness will be ours immediately. Another ace. Wonderful. And we're not being pushed back anywhere, I think. We're actually advancing quite quickly. I might need to relocate the railway guns soon. At least some of them. Don't really see much on this map mode. Well, let's maybe leave it alone for now, I suppose. Well, no, you can get closer, can't you? You can get a bit closer. Wish there was a map mode with just the railway guns. Is it on the infrastructure map mode? No. You go closer. Even closer. Shall we go here? Sweden has joined. Wait a minute. Didn't I call them in? I did. They just did not respond to me. They only answered Turkey's call to arms. Well, that's not very nice. Also, I freaking forgot that there's Germany bothering Sweden here. Uh, I mean, I'm attacking them from my own territory, but Sweden... Oh, my guys did not get here in time. Wait a minute, I sent an entire army here. Oh, I see army 9. Which was army 9? I must have done something wrong because uh, the order exists, but they're not on it. Where are you? Ah, they had the fallback line thingy from earlier. Yeah, they don't mm, They don't display here, so I missed it. Not an issue. I'll take Leningrad back momentarily. I think Sweden can handle them for a moment. Be quick about it. Because we just lost Leningrad. Ace pilot. And we're advancing. It's not a pretty front line. But it is effective. How much closer can you get? Air situation? Not so great, but I'm counting on my anti-air. Equipment? Fine. Leszek the Lightning Kaminski. Okay, I just need two more. Königsberg and Hinterpommern. This is about to happen for us. We have railway guns here as well. I think we're about to crush them. There's a lot of Germans here, and they're much bigger units, but our rockets, our rocket artillery is crushing them, which is wonderful. Right, let's have a look at the railway guns again. Select one. Shift and drag. Maybe I need to zoom in a bit. Maybe I need to zoom in a bit more. Shift drag to select all of them. Yeah, one was in Leningrad. Did it run away? I hope it did. I need to relocate them. I definitely do. Maybe I'll just uh, just click them anew. I know this will not be efficient. Some will go where they're not supposed to. But I think that's the quickest way I can ensure them actually seeing some action. Right. Not very efficient because wrong guns are going in the wrong place, but the end result should be nice. Can we do the focus yet? Where's my focus? Here. Still need Königsberg. We're about to get it. Attack Königsberg aggressively, please. I really need it. Even the army from Denmark is doing a lot of good. Königsberg is mine. Can I do the focus? Greater Commonwealth. Yes, I can. Wonderful. Let's do that. And keep crushing the Germans. We're almost in Berlin. Move some railway guns closer. Oh, there's no connection here. I should really build a railway connection. We are halfway through Bulgaria, soon reach Africa. You guys don't seem to want to attack Hungary further. Please attack Hungary further. Finish them off. The attack from Denmark is going well. The territory is going to them, but I have... Wait a minute. 25% only. All right, because the Allies have been fighting them forever. That's fine, I'll get way more. Fall of Berlin. And we have reclaimed Gdańsk. Iraq joined Axis. Really? Has UK declared war on them? Well, maybe UK should not have declared war on them. Right, half of this army go take care of Iraq. At least, yes. That's a lot of shipyards. Okay, I can't buy that much stuff. Let's uh, switch to limited exports. Way better. Still need to buy some rubber. Iraq has joined, but my troops are on their way. So it's not like it's a real threat. Hungary capitulates and gives me stuff. Why did it come back to Yugoslavia? My herd participation should be way higher because, well, the Brits have higher participation, but they didn't really do anything. Better radars researched. We have a collaboration government in Germany thing, so all of Germany is mine. We just need to capitulate them before Italy, which will happen, and then we can just create a collaboration government in Germany while the war is still going on. Yay, we've connected to our friends from Denmark. But our invasion has ground to a bit of a halt. I guess I should relocate the railway guns again. How are we doing up north? 
well. We're doing well. Assign a gun from army. Could I just assign them to the armies? Maybe I should. Maybe they'll do fine. Go on, I'm giving you autonomy. Fire at whoever you want to fire at. Um, wait a minute. We have 11 guns? I thought I had 10. Hmm, huh. a nice surprise, I guess. Iran is about to become free, but they're in my faction, so it doesn't matter. How's equipment? Still good. Could use some more anti-air. This focus is gonna change quite a lot of things. From good to wonderful. Okay, Romania's not gonna get involved. Let's get this army out of their border, because they're going to waste. Relocate them over to Bulgaria. Take the land route if you so choose. What are the railway guns doing? They are stacking up. Well, I guess they'll do something. It's all good. And Germany has capitulated. That's the beauty of collaboration governments. Just make them capitulate faster. Now, what we want to do is ask Denmark to give us territory. I'll leave you Schleswig-Holstein. Does anybody else control anything? No. France. Can I ask you to give me stuff? No, I cannot, because we're not in the same faction. Maybe you can handle Vichy France, if not, I'll just take it from you. Well, Denmark, give me stuff, yes. And what I should be able to do now is create a coalition government of Germany, which will automatically... Oh, what do they... I didn't want to click this. See? I can create a coalition government in Germany, even though the war is still going on. This will give me... Oh, I just realized. I forgot about the decisions from the plan. Uh, that's a bit silly, isn't it? Well, it's too late now, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's too late now. Where was I? Yeah, I can create a coalition government in Germany right now, because I made coalition government missions there, and they capitulated, and the war is still going on, because another great power, Italy, is in it. So I'll do it now. Germany is my puppet now, ruled by nobody. Polish, Lithuanian, Germany. Polish, Lithuania and Germany is, of course, a puppet. 6 million manpower, 200 factories and all that. They will not be present at the peace conference. In fact, I will receive all of this for free. I will not have to bargain with the Allies to get the stuff at the peace conference. But we will have to bargain for Hungary and Czechoslovakia and all that, but not for Germany. And this is expensive land. Right, time to redo our orders a bit. In other words, time to beat Italy up. It's a free army, let's send it to Bulgaria. I mean, Italy cannot survive this onslaught. Let's watch them not survive it. Also, you attack this army. Mission focus cancelled. <gasps> Damn it. I just made a big mistake. I just made a big mistake. What's that mistake? Well, creating the Coalition government means I do not control this anymore. Learn from my mistakes. I should have waited until the focus finished, but I got too bloody excited. Now, I can still fix this. All I need to do is just annex Germany again, and then do the focus again. But I'd have to do it after the war. So I messed up, because that would give me like lots of territory here as cores. We can always do it after the war. Though the war won't last that long, we still have Italy to kill, but it's not as strong as Germany. Fusion government of the German Reich, I already made it. They have a blessing, or a temporary blessing. Can I ask you to give me territory? No. This is a colony state of the German Reich. If I gave it to them, would it be present at the peace conference? I need to check it. Give control of state, Bohemia. I'm doing it to see if it is takeable in the peace conference or not. Because it used to belong to Germany. But we need to crush Italy quickly, because I want to... And this, so I'm going to put everyone on aggressive. No, oh, seems like I have too many factories. And as it was to be expected, it is not providing that much resistance. And our railway guns are trying to find a way to get closer. Bulgaria is done. So, yeah, I should have finished the focus before releasing Germany. I really regret this one. Oh, well, we'll be done soonish. Very doctrine, please. Russian Federation? No, no collaboration governments there. How long until Italy capitulates? Long. Oh, I forgot, I have their cipher, don't I? Activated Italian cipher. And my participation is currently 39% only, and Vichy France became a major power, really? Oh, I have to kill them then. But I think the Allies can deal with that on their own. Don't want expeditionary forces? I will accept land lease. Ah, wonderful. I have finally received Wojtek the Bear. Bearer of artillery. Artillery attack 15%. Now apparently you can make him a king on one of the paths. I might redo the Anastasia path to have Wojtek as the leader of Poland. I can actually make him a field marshal. Where is he? Field marshal Wojtek. Very offensive. Right, we should be finishing this war very soon. Vichy France is still holding on and so is Italy, but probably not for long. France, you want to give me military access? But French commune? What the hell is going on in this game? Give me military access. I'll send you a couple of armies to finish off Vichy France. That was nice and easy, wasn't it? Shouldn't you be capitulating over Yes, they have. And now we wait for France, which will happen momentarily, especially after I send the, an entire army group. And let's end this war. All the troops go to France and kill Vichy France. Go, finish them off. And we can enjoy our victory afterwards. I should still do the Greater Commonwealth, though. I really wish I didn't do the Germany thing. We have Germany. Let's build stuff there. That's the fastest way to drop their independence, because I will need to annex them. Seriously, France is still standing. Do they have cores outside of Europe? That would be so annoying. God damn it. Do I need to go all the way to Africa? Hey, Spain, wanna give me military access? No. 
we don't. Right then, I'm gonna send an entire huge army group just here. Maybe use ports. Do I have convoys? I have convoys. Go here, then here. Yeah, yeah, some of you will die, that's fine. I just need to finish them off quickly. Seems like I lost many railway guns. It's probably much better to handle them manually. This is Sweden here. Cool. Okay, getting in on the action. Move quickly, please. Just go here. We need to deal with France. Poland, the liberator of Europe. Oh. Italy's alive. Let's deal with them. We can now annex Germany. But we'll do that after the peace conference, which will happen eventually. Because I don't know, if I annex them now, I don't know if this territory will be contested in the peace conference or not. And the way it is right now, I'm sure it will not be contested. Can you move a bit faster, please? I hate the fact that you have to go outside of Europe to capitulate Vichy France. So you should probably take Tripoli for resupply reasons. Did you really take the gun with you? No, it looked like it had a railway gun, but I might have been mistaken. They should surrender when we take Algiers. Why have you stopped moving? No, no, you're still moving, just slowly. It's fine. I'll send these guys along the coast. Maybe they'll do better with the ports on the way. Yeah, they have so much firepower that even without supplies they just kill them. Uh, Mongolia, no provisional governments, please. Not this time. Almost there. The United States are landing through the Black Sea into Romania. Interesting strategy. I thought Romania was very clever by getting out of this war. Oh, and normal France took out Algiers. So shouldn't Vichy France be capitulating now? 99%. Oh yeah, well, there are some more victory points along the way. Let's take those two. And they capitulated, finally. Okay, first off, checking here. Okay, the stuff I gave to Germany that didn't originally get turned into Germany is up for grabs. Definitely want my core stuff, but the stuff that's going to be my cores. Should we pop it Italy? Yeah. Finland? How is Finland up for grabs? Weren't they in the Allies? Oh, that's weird. I guess I'll take Finland. It'll look cool. Nope, don't have the points. This one so I can access my allies. And this bit. That's it for now. Did you do? You liberated some stuff. Let's pass. And let's pass. A few times until they do something. Okay, they liberated some stuff. Now I can go in on the taking. Oh, also, Italy is my subject. I should give them Italian territory. Good. Next up. How about we take Finland? It'll look cool. Did you just make a subject state here? Yeah, it's fine. You can have it. Let's turn to Yugoslavia after that. And Greece and Bulgaria. And turn. Pass, pass. Supervised state. Not a problem. Just give me territory. All over the world. Crete is expensive. But Vichy France. Take the cheapest ones. Chad. Definitely need to take Chad. Hmm. I could have puppeted them. Oh, that's fine. Pass, pass, pass. Take stuff. Pass. Take stuff. Nope, can't afford it yet. Pass, take stuff, end. You might have noticed that Germany was not up for grabs during the peace conference, because it's my puppet. Puppet, which I am going to now annex. I guess I could drain their manpower. I should, because, but I'm ending this video now. I should drain their manpower, which is very easy. You just need to use their manpower for your units before annexing them, and then go back afterwards and all well, that manpower goes into your manpower pool. Maybe I should do that. No, no, I just want to end it here, but I want to end it while being the greater commonwealth. So for that purpose, I need to annex Germany. We also have Iran as a subject and Italy. We can annex Italy, but it would take a long time. We don't really need that. We have a similar color to the Allies, which is a bit unfortunate. It's difficult to discern what is which is which, but we're definitely, I think we're bigger, aren't we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're bigger. So Germany is annexed. Again, what's my collaboration here? Oh, it went straight to 100% compliance like I had before. So apparently, I can just re-release them as a subject nation if I so choose. With this, we can finally complete the Greater Commonwealth. Let's do that. And you guys can finally come home. Not a provisional government yet. Go to the French border or something like that. Go home, everyone. So yeah, that went pretty well. Going after Adolf first would have been more difficult. Going after Joseph first and the Soviet Union is probably the better choice. And what I think swayed the odds in our favor was that we waited for them to attack us and lose strength while building ourselves up and then pushed back, not immediately. We could keep this going, I don't really want to, it's already late in the game, and I only played with the objective of defeating both of the mustache men, both Joseph and Adolf. But if I were to continue, we'd probably annex Italy, not necessarily, but uh, it would give us a fleet good for naval invasions. Mm, let's have a look at the faction map mode. Yeah, then I'll pr I'd probably go after both the Chinese United Front and Japan, probably at the same time. It would be easier to do it this way. Then split them with the Allies at the Peace Conference. And then, well, if we decided to fight the Allies, that would be an arduous task, but I probably wouldn't. What I would do is invade Spain, because they're fascist and nobody would help them. Oh, do I have too many factories? I might. Don't have much to build with all that industry. The Greater Commonwealth is complete. Let's have a look. Does my name change to 
leave the Greater Commonwealth. It does not. But let's have a look at our core territory. Did that update yet? Shouldn't this be my core? Did I misread something? Oh no, definitely this became my cores. Crimea. Oh yeah, Crimea and stuff around that wasn't my cores. So yeah, I got a lot more from that. And you can see that with how the manpower went up. Yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? Um, yeah, if I, if I was playing this further, I would have uh, stolen the German manpower while annexing them. So we'd be at much more now, like 10 million probably. And of course, if we need more manpower, I can just uh, make a collaboration government of the Soviet Union, then we'll have endless manpower. But it's not necessary. So what would we do next? As I said, we'd go after Spain, China, and Japan, and any other countries who would not be guaranteed by the Allies. While fighting Japan, we could get military access from all the Allies, and then I could just station my troops in their territory in case they decided to meddle with us. That being done, having troops in all their capitals and all that, because friendly expeditionary forces are there to protect them, we could proceed to conquer everyone else who is not in the Allies, and if the Allies objected, well, our troops are already there. So that's how we would do it. All in all, I think the Commonwealth path is not as good as the Romanian one, and probably not as good as Anastasia Romanov, but probably better than the Habsburgs. Haven't checked that one out yet properly. You know, we invite a Habsburg king, but getting Bohemia will mean that the Germans will attack you much earlier, and that's a lot to take on. And this way, this was a rather relaxed game, wasn't it? We hanged back, defended, built up strength, and then crushed our enemies. We are definitely the most powerful country on Earth, but the Allies could still pose a threat to us. Especially because of their navy, we would be in a very difficult position if we wanted to reach the United States. We could definitely get Britain, we could just outproduce them with planes and do paratroopers or just bomb everything. Uh, so Britain would not be an issue. British Raj and all that we could access with our massive forces. However, the United States, Mexico and Canada would be a problem. Unless, before fighting them, we got something like uh, Guatemala or Honduras or El Salvador. El Salvador is fascist, so they would probably not defend it. So I could just invade that, and then we would have a foothold, and we would be able to move north to beat up the United States. But I do prefer the Order 66 method in case of that, because I don't like doing naval stuff. And we would be required to do naval stuff. Europe would fall to us no problem. Right, I'm going to end it here, let me know how you liked this video, and if you'd like to see me do Soviet Union, Latvia, or maybe one of the other bits of the new focus tree, or something completely different, do tell me in the comments. And that is it for today, I will see you again soon, goodbye.